Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkina, you're watching the latest financial calendar on Insta TV. At the end of this week, the following macroeconomic reports will grab traders' attention. On Thursday, the US Labor Department will release the weekly report on initial jobless claims. Experts anticipate the number of unemployed people increased by 244,000. Last Thursday, the ministry reported that the unemployment claims rose by 258,000 on seasonally adjusted basis. This number exceeded the expected level of 240,000. The four-week average of jobless claims, which smoothes the weekly volatile data, ticked up to 240,000. The number of continuous unemployment claims decreased by 39,000 to 2 million. On the following day, China will unveil the report on manufacturing activity for March. The Purchasing Managers Index is expected to inch up to 51.7 points. In February, China's manufacturing PMI was at the level of 51.6 points versus the previous reading of 51.3. The index reached the three-month high and stayed above the threshold of 50 points. Analysts anticipated the index would tick down to 51.2 points. The pace of reduction in employment was the slowest in two years. Besides, producers' expectations of the future growth in the manufacturing sector were the most optimistic since May 2015. On Friday, Canada will reveal the report on GDP growth rate for January. Economists expect the indicator climbed by 0.3% from the previous month. In December last year, Canada's gross domestic product gained 0.3% on a monthly basis, matching analyst expectations. In annual Terms, the Canadian GDP advanced by 2% to 1.698 trillion Canadian dollars. An increase in consumer spending contributed to the economic growth. At the same time, the Statistics Office of Canada reported that investments in the economy contracted. Overall, the Canadian economy expanded by 1.4% in 2016 versus the rise of 0.9% in 2015. In addition to these events, the following statistics will be released later in the week. On Thursday, Germany will report on its inflation. Canada will publish its data on raw material prices. The United States will unveil its revised GDP statistics for the fourth quarter. On Friday, Japan will deliver its inflation data. Germany will publish its report on retail sales and unemployment. Preliminary inflation statistics will see the light of day in the Eurozone. The UK will reveal revised data on economic growth. The United States will provide personal income and spending reports. And the University of Michigan will report on the US consumer sentiment. And this concludes the calendar of the latest financial events from Insta TV team. See you next week. Bye.